Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the first breakfast call of the year. The ones that I haven't talked to uh, in this year, Happy New Year, of course, and thanks everyone for joining again. My name is Reiner Limburg, and it is my great pleasure to introduce to you our Chief Revenue Officer, Jörg Heugje. I think many of you know him, and I just wanted to let you know that he hasn't forgotten about us since he took up a global role. He's still very much invested with everything that's going on in Europe. Uh, Jörg, thank you uh, for taking the time to bring us up to speed about everything that's going on uh, at a global level. And uh, the floor is yours. Thank you, Rainer, and of course, Happy New Year from my side to all of you here on this call and all your loved ones. Um, how can I forget Europe? I'm still in Europe. Um, I'm still sitting here at my house at the French border and doing the job and trying to support ASEA, the company, globally. But of course, I still feel a lot of um, uh, emotions. A lot. I have a, a my heart is full with with the emotions for Europe and all the people in Europe. Uh, I will never forget Europe. I am, I am European, as most of you know, and uh, I'm very happy and proud to see what, what we have developed over the years um, in this region. And to me, it's always a pleasure to work with you guys. Um, this year is a special year for me. I'm uh, celebrating two anniversaries. First anniversary is uh, in January this year. I'm uh, five years with ASEA, so this is my first anniversary with the sea and I'm very happy and proud about this. The second anniversary I'm celebrating is um, I'm celebrating 30 years in this industry. Um, I started to work in this industry in 1991. I just figured out the other day and um, of course if, you, if that comes to your mind you think back and you think what happened and how, how this went so long and uh, I remember uh, I started in 1991, not, not on the corporate side. I started as an associate, as uh, as many of us, and um, it was a typical case. So I was working in a cargo company and as a dispatcher, and uh, work was hard and a lot, but money was little. So I was open for other opportunities, and a friend of mine approached me and uh, offered me a solution for my financial situation or for my financial issues, and um, back in the days, I did not even know what he was talking about. And uh, so he introduced me into the insurance industry in direct selling, network marketing insurances. Um, I, my hair was, was that long. I never had, a, I never worn a suit before, but um, I gave it a try. And uh, more to please my friend or not to disappoint, disappoint my friend than uh, I was convinced that this is my, my industry and my new life and my business. But long story short, um, we started or I started and six months later, I was able to quit my job at the cargo company and I was doing uh, network marketing full-time uh, as a self-employed for seven years uh, before I changed the site and started to work in network marketing on the corporate side. But it was funny, I was asking myself the other day, why, because my friend quit. My friend stopped working in this industry after a couple of years, but I'm still here. And I'm asked, I was asking myself, why is that? And as a matter of fact, it is because this industry gave me a security that no other industry could ever give. I found out that this industry and the companies who are successful in this industry are very versatile. They are very capable to adapt to new situations. And they, they seem to be crisis proof. I remember 2008, 2009, when we all went through an economy and a world economy crisis, this industry was still growing. And a lot of companies were still growing. And um, we all agree and we all know that 2020 was a very special year and uh, a lot of companies, a lot of brand name companies do suffer and still suffer and will suffer for the next couple of months, if not years. Many people lost their income and, and suffered health-wise and also financially. 
I just want to remember companies like Lufthansa, big international companies. They, I just read an article that they're going to lay off 29,000 people this year. 29,000 people. The same counts for United Airlines, the same counts for a lot of uh, uh, other industries like the travel and, and, and hotel industry, restaurants. So I really feel sorry for those guys. But again, this industry seemed to be crisis proof and we went through this and uh, even our company and if you if you want to click click me through this i want to share some figures some interesting figures with you how our company went through this very difficult year 2020 as you can see globally we grew by six percent that doesn't seem to be a lot compared to the years before where we had a double digit growth over uh, over one year but 6% in a year of a global pandemic where we could not have meetings, where we could not organize events to me is a huge success. Europe did even grow by 10%, more than 10%. That's a huge success. So congratulations to all of you who did contribute to this success. Global enrollments did increase by 68,000, Europe by 10,000. That's also a huge success given the situation we were in. I remember when, when um, the pandemic really kicked in and started and, and there was a, a management meeting around March of last year. And I remember Tyler saying, if we can go through this year of, of pandemic and we, will, we are not pushed to lay off one employee, then this is a success for us. And if we will not lose on sales, this will be a success year. And, now we are looking back and not only did we not have to lay off people, we even added 87 employ 89 employees globally and we had 87 promotions. We opened two new offices in Hong Kong and Malaysia, Singapore office is coming soon. And we are looking now at 290 employees totally in 10 countries in France, Germany, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Mexico, Philippines, Singapore, Taiwan, Thailand, and the United States. I remember five years ago when I started, those numbers seemed to be very, very challenging, but now we are here only five years later and we are still growing. Thank you, Ainda. Some more highlights. Um, in the year 2020, we had the top eight North American and global sales and enrollment weeks. We can see that in that little list. So we had top revenue weeks of more than 4 million in over the entire year in March, in June, July, August, September, and even in December. So that's a huge success. In Europe, we launched Omega. We increased our presence in the Russian and Chinese speaking communities within the existing markets in Europe. So we're not talking about Russia and China. Uh, we are talking about the existing markets in Germany, in France, where we have huge in other countries, of course, Italy, Portugal, where we have huge Russian and Chinese communities. And we are still following that strategy to develop those communities. Thank you, Amanda. Here's some numbers from Associate Support. Um, Associate Supports in total had 333,000 contacts in the year 2020 and uh, sent more than 700 values and actions. The logistic teams delivered more than 1 million orders. The exact number you can see here, 1,095,916 orders. And we were shipping 55 containers into 33 countries. And there you see the entire associate team, associate support team, um, not the entire, so the European and some Asian support, associate support team members are missing here. This is the American based team. Thank you. And something that uh, we are also very proud of, we have been recognized as a company by the state of Utah as the best company to work for, for the six times in a row. And that's very remarkable. A lot of companies are applying for that. So obviously our employees seem to be happy with the, with the circumstances and the company, and that's very good. Uh, I, I can confirm that. I'm also very happy. I never had a better time than the last five years of my life, I must say. So this is really a huge success. Thanks, Rainer. Um, what does it mean for us? So it looks like we will come out of this crisis um, even stronger than before. And uh, 
we are all looking forward to the time when COVID will not impact our life in such a uh, hectic way, in such a dramatic way. And I think we are on a good way. Uh, we are going into the warm season, into summer. Um, the vaccine is out globally. So we are looking into a, we're looking forward to come to a normal life, I hope. Um, will that life become normal this year? Maybe. Will it be the same as before? I don't think so. I think that a lot of, a lot of ways we were doing business will have changed and will stay different constantly. For example, I want to give one or two examples, home office. Um, all of a sudden it was possible that 80%, 90% of the people could work from home. I don't think that we will go back to, uh, everyone goes to the office again completely. Of course, the, the home office the home office ratio will not stay as high as it is right now, but as we are going back, people will find out that this is more effective in some ways. And I read somewhere, uh, uh, or I saw an advert about home office, it was saying home office has two profit, uh, positives in it. You have a home and you have work, everything else is uh, luxury. I think that's, that's a, very nice, um, a very nice picture. I also believe that this pandemic was an accelerator for the digital world. Um, we were all we all knew that we would go into a new digital world that social media, e-commerce, and online shopping would would become more and more prominent and more and more popular. But I think the pandemic has accelerated that process. So we are much further into that industry or into that new way of doing business and we will not go back. I don't think, I believe, I strongly believe that um, when shops are open again across Europe and everybody can go to the restaurant, there will be a short peak of people going back to where, what they have missed over many years, or over many months, I'm sorry, not years, months, but digital and online business will be more important than it ever was before. And that is also for us very important because as a company, if you want to stay successful, if you want to stay on top of this, we need to prepare. We need to prepare for this new way of doing business. And this is what the year 2021 is for. So we are right now looking in all, at all the processes. We are looking at all the, the things we are doing in the standards and the procedures in the company, the way we communicate with, uh, with each other and also with you. We have a very critical look at this and we either confirm that this is the best way to do and, or we have to improve it. So our goal is for this year, amongst others, of course we have sales goals, but also it is a very important project for us as a company to prepare this company for the new way of doing business and to prepare this company to make it manageable to reach our overall goal of 500 million in the year 2025. We know we must constantly improve the way we are working together with you. We must constantly improve the service we provide for you to be able to achieve our goals. And as a company itself, I mentioned it before, we need to be ready for this and we need to be very critical if we, and we need to adapt and be very versatile to achieve those goals. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my friends, this is what I wanted to share with you this morning. Um, it is very important for me that you know that <laughs> I'm not gone. I'm still responsible for, for Europe on another level. I'm still um, very interested in everything that's going on and I'm still very proud that uh, the European region seem to be the most stable region we have right now. Um, we will continue with that. We will support you and uh, all, your, all what you do. At the end, I wanna say thank you for listening to me. I hope it was not too boring for you. And I wanna thank you for all you have done in last year. That was enormous, that was extraordinary. And I want to thank you for everything you're going to do with us in the upcoming months and years. Um, it was my pleasure to get up very early this morning to be on that call. And I wish you all the best and thanks again. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, Jörg. Always a pleasure to have you on. I, uh, I love the stories from your past. You should uh, come on this call every now and then to just give us uh, a nice story from your past. 
But more importantly, I think it's um, great that we as a company are in good shape, that we were able uh, in, during a challenging year to set another record-breaking um, sales goal for Europe, and that also globally we are doing well. And I couldn't agree more that this was a, uh, last year was a year that we had to adapt to very, a very changing environment. And um, I've noticed many associates throughout Europe that did this perfectly. And I can only see good things happening in 2021. And uh, yeah, so also from my side, thanks everyone for last year. Um, amazing things that have happened, good results and uh, a bright future, I will say. The next topic I have on my list is a recognition. Uh, if you can remember from last month, we did a specialty award recognition for the year 2019. Uh, today, I want to do the same, but for the 2020 uh, winners. Uh, um, so more recent, of course. But before we do that, um, I have some wonderful news, and that is uh, in the last weeks of December, we had another diamond um, of re another couple from Hungary reaching the rank of diamond uh, executive. So fantastic work. Uh, the couple, um, unfortunately, are not able to join this call today, uh, but um, I was in contact with them and they were so nice to send us a video. We are talking about um, Pal and Annie Christon. Let me see, next slide. Um, from Hungary, and they do not speak English that well, so they recorded the message in Hungarian. Um, but we worked hard on getting translations on this video because the, the message that they shared is a wonderful one. Um, you can see the warmth of these people and the heart that they have for Azia and the business that they're doing. So uh, we wanted to show this to you and uh, with subtitles, of course. But first, uh, again, uh, Pal and Annie, uh, congratulations, of course, on this great achievement. Szeretettel köszöntünk mindenkit. Én Kriston Pálné, Ani vagyok. Én Kriston Pál vagyok, én is üdvözlök mindenkit. Magyarországon élünk Győrben. A bemutatkozásunkat a családunkkal szeretném elkezdeni. Négy lányunk van, 24 évesek, 22, 19 és 15 évesek. Pedagógusok vagyunk, én a zene területén zongora szólt és szakos tanárnő vagyok, a férjem pedig a sport területén. Nagyon szeretjük, amit csinálunk, tényleg, tényleg ez a hivatásunk, szeretetből csináljuk, tölt minket, de a megélhetés az pedagógus házaspárként nagyon gyenge Magyarországon, és mi kezdetektől szerettünk volna sok gyereket, úgyhogy tényleg szorgalmasan, mindig-mindig nyitottan próbáltunk emellé még pénzt keresni. Hát ránk is talált így egy MLM üzlet, amiben 20 évet eltöltöttünk az életünkből, rengeteget beletettünk, időt, energiát nem sajnáltunk, és ennek arányában mindig úgy éreztük, mintha lyukas vödörbe pakolnánk, hogy nem jött vissza, sem az értékek nem jöttek vissza, sem az anyagiak nem jöttek vissza. Úgyhogy a 20 év alatt mi tökéletesen kimerültünk, nem jól végződött ez a történet a számunkra, úgy gondoltuk, hogy itt elég is az MLM-ből, soha többet. De ekkor jöttek Várnai Zoli és Anett a mi életünkbe, a Redox molekuláról szóltak, először a férjemnek, ő nem volt nyitott ebben az állapotban érthetően, én viszont nélküle is beregisztráltam, és itt indult, itt indult el a mi csodálatos történetünk. És számunkra ez az ASEA tényleg azt kell, hogy mondjam, hogy a világ csodája, itt minden megvalósul, idő, energia, anyagiak, ami, amit az ember megálmodik magában, itt megvalósul. Igen, pontosan, hogy a feleségem is mondja, tehát számomra először semmit nem jelentett. Tehát amikor megtalált minket, én azt mondtam, hogy én lezártam minden ilyen jellegű területet, és hálát adok a feleségemnek a kicsit finom erőszakosságáért, és többek között Zoltánéknak is, mert ők voltak, hogy mondták, mondták, hogy ez más, ezt higgyük el, hogy más, de az ember, ha megégeti egyszer magát, akkor nem szívesen mászik bele egy hasonló területbe. De hál' Istennek megfogott egy dolog, én 16 éve kínai medicinával, orvoslással foglalkozom, és a technológia része megfogott. 
És akkor elkezdtük használni a családon belül is, gyermekeinknél és gyermekünknél is, nagyon komoly dolgokat oldott meg, amire nem is gondoltunk volna, és itt kezdett el érdekelni nemcsak a technológia, hanem az üzleti rész is. És amikor rájöttem, hogy ez egész más, és ez többek között Lyonban volt, amikor megéreztük Lyonban azt a légkört, azt a klímát, a lelk, azt, így van, azt a lelkiséget, ami körül lengi ezt az egészet, akkor mondtuk azt, hogy ez nekünk kell. És itt kezdtünk el üzletileg egy évvel ezelőtt foglalkozni komolyabban vele, és célkitűzésünk között tartozott, hogy gyémántok legyünk rövid időn belül, és többek között az első gyémántjai, vagy Magyarországon Zoliéknak. És ezt így megvalósítottuk, nagyon büszkék vagyunk az üzlettársakra, mert egyre több platina, egyre több arany, ezüst, bronz van az üzletünkben, és mindig az volt az alapelvünk, hogy mi nem üzletet építünk, hanem emberi kapcsolatokat és ezáltal fog épülni az üzlet is értelemszerűen, de engem mindig az, minket mindig az ember érdekelt, és ez ennek most kamatos, kamatos kamattal kapjuk vissza, mert most már el kell lassan gondolkodnunk gyémántként, hogy akkor melyik foglalkozást válasszuk, és egyre közelebb vagyunk ahhoz, hogy főállásba az aszeát, és ezt közvetítsük. Úgyhogy én, mi hálásak vagyunk az aszeának, Egyrészt egészség szempontjából is, másrészt üzleti, illetve egy szabadságnak köszönhető neki, hogy lassan már szabadok vagyunk anyagilag. Úgyhogy ez valami ürül dolog, hogy egy év alatt annyit értünk el, sőt mondom, többet értünk el, mint húsz év alatt az előző helyen. És családra van időnk, a hobbinkra van időnk, és mindent nem kell elvennünk az, hogy most mi tudjunk haladni, hanem minden kerekben összesimul. Úgyhogy köszönjük és szépen, Asza. Azt hozzá kell tennem, hogy itt mások is haladnak, nem csak mi. Hát ez Igen. óriási élmény nekünk, hogy körülöttünk mindenki halad. És én azt kívánom mindenkinek, hogy vegye komolyan ezt az üzletet, mert jelen helyzetben a világon szinte az egyetlen lehetőség, amivel az ember előre tud menekülni a probléma előtt. Úgyhogy köszönjük azt, a gratulálunk azt, a, hogy ezt a technológiát csinál, megcsinálták nekünk. Úgyhogy mindenkinek kívánom, és köszönettel mindenkinek, hogy itt vannak. Köszönjük szépen! Thank you, Paul and Ani. And uh, if you watch this recording uh, later on, uh, congratulations again on this wonderful accomplishment. And um, yeah, it's pretty obvious that your hard work and perseverance has paid off. And I'm very curious to see what this year has in store for you. But thanks again for sending in this video. As I mentioned, the Specialty Award uh, winners for the year 2020. Um, I will quickly go over the four, uh, the eight categories again. So um, the top enrollers, obviously the ones of the associates that had the, the most enrollments in 2020, the fast forward achievers with the ones with the most successful fast forward, the emerging leaders category. These are uh, the associates that, has, uh, that had the most team rank advancement. And the leadership development is the same thing uh, as emerging leaders, but then for, uh, for diamonds uh, and up. Top growth is the growth that uh, compared to 2019 based on income. And the top, top income earners are the ones that earned the most income in Europe in 2020. The top authorship all-star category um, are the associates that have the most associates on authorship who they sponsored personally. And top EMP are the ones that earned the most EMP bonus in the year 2020. Let's go over to the first two categories, the top enrollers and the top fast forward achievers. Well, Paul and Annie are also on, uh, on this list. Uh, congratulations. Then we have James Porritt um, from the UK, uh, Alain Fontaine um, from France, and Janos and Livia from Switzerland, and Valentin Coupy uh, also from France. Congratulations. Um, we all know that um, growing your business starts at enrolling new associates and building up a strong team. The fast forward achievers, um, some of the names that show up on the top enrollers list automatically also show up the, uh, on the fast forward achievers. Uh, fast forward is for me um, 
a great tool for everyone to use, whether you are just starting your business or you are a, a diamond or an ambassador diamond already. I just noticed that uh, Zoltan and Annette, who are also on this list in 2020, started off the year 2021 uh, very well uh, again uh, with uh, finishing a fast forward plus with enrolling over uh, with enrolling 10 new associates uh, in a two week period. And so a great way to lead from the front. Other names on this list, uh, yeah, Paul and Annie Christon again, uh, Margaret Halla from Germany and um, Tulan Lee, also from Germany. She actually lives uh, 10 minutes away from our, or let's say 20 minutes away from our office. A fantastic job. And uh, hopefully you will continue with fast forwards again uh, this year. And for everyone who's not on the list, do all you can this year to be on it. Then the Emerging Leaders and Leadership Development uh, Awards. Uh, as I mentioned, the Emerging Leaders is for non-diamonds and the Leadership Development is for diamond. But as you can see, some names are on it twice uh, or on both, um, um, uh, on both, uh, let's say, categories. This is because they reached the level of diamond during the year. So this is the case for Zoltan and Annette for Paul and Annie, and also for Martin Sushi and Mrs. Yu from uh, Portugal. Um, and the other one on the list is Gi Hung Wang. Uh, and uh, for the leadership development, uh, Zoltan and Annette, Sissel and Espen, uh, Paul and Annie, Morten Dam, and also Mrs. Yu. Again, so congratulations on this achievement. It's not only great that you reach new ranks. Um, for many of you, I know, uh, as Paul and Ani just mentioned, it's great to see their team developing as well. I know for um, Zoltan and Annette, this is uh, maybe even more important than for them reaching new ranks to see their team members like Paul and Ani and also Martin Suki to um, reach new levels. So congratulations to all of you. Top growth and top income, um, Sissel and Espen, um, Sultan and Annette, Martin Suki, um, uh, Ush Ovari Oshoya and Ush Tibor and uh, Mrs. Yu uh, um, are recognized today as top growth. This means that their income grew uh, the most compared to the, the year before. And then top income, so total income uh, over the year, Sissel and Espen, Zoltan and Annette, uh, Rijdun Boon, Mijo Charmatan, and Morten Anderson were, uh, were our top income earners in the year 2020. So congratulations to you, you all. The last two categories, the top authorship all-stars, of course, really important. Uh, as we all know, autoships are the lifeblood of our organization. Uh, I think in Europe, approximately 70% of all our sales com uh, comes from autoship. And uh, yeah, we have a couple of all stars here that, um, yeah, that just have very loyal customers, loyal associates that um, once they um, get to know our products, they go on autoship and they never stop. Uh, Rijdun Boon, Morten Anderson, Ingmarie and Per Haakstrom, um, uh, Zoltan and Annette, and uh, Lucia Terron Conejo from Spain. And our top EMP earners, uh, Zoltan and Annette again, uh, Paul and Annie Christian, Martin Suki, Ujovari Oshoya, and Ush Tibor, and Kim Meng and Chan Dan Win. Uh, so these are the ones that. Um, uh, went through the executive ranks, um, had high levels of PGV3, and earned a lot of EMP bonus. Um, just as a uh, as a small note, the executive momentum pool will be open for you if you reach the bronze level or up in two consecutive weeks, and the bonus is based on your PGV3, which are transferred to share shares, depending on the the rank that you qualified that week and um, each share has a monetary value um, value and this is how we calculate the EMP bonus a wonderful part of our um, compensation plan I always mention it that it's one of my favorites it's a great way as you advance through the ranks to earn extra bonuses 
And I can tell you from um, what I know that this can be a huge portion, a portion of your total uh, commissions. So if you are on your way to uh, become bronze, um, please make sure that you stabilize your business so you can profit uh, the most from this part of the compensation plan. Again, congratulations to all the winners, wonderful achievements. And I'm already looking forward to see the same names, but also some new names uh, for the specialty award winners next year. Then I, um, I think many of you reached, um, received the communication, but I wanted to emphasize uh, it again. And that is that we have a new payment method available in all European markets that use Euro as a currency. And this is PayPal. Um, for me personally, this is great news. Uh, it's a payment method that I use. Well, I don't want to say every day, but at least once a week. Um, I have a lot of my subscriptions. Uh, I pay that with PayPal. I use it to transfer uh, money to friends when we go out for dinner or um, yeah, I just use it very frequently and uh, I'm very pleased that we have it available. If you do not have a PayPal account set up just yet, um, we uploaded a PowerPoint presentation uh, to the VO in English. And I think it's also available in French as of yesterday. Um, where we go through steps, how to set up this account and how to use it uh, by uh, with your uh, Azia payments or your Azia auto ships. And uh, yeah, I just put a small screenshot here where you can find it. Um, you can find it by switching your language to English in your VO library and it can be found on their business and it's called PayPal uh, guidelines. So please have a look into that a very secure payment method. And I uh, strongly advise you to look into it and maybe use it. The last thing uh, I want to mention, of course, is the next uh, big event that we have planned uh, our virtual conference on the 20th of February. And um, we are really excited about this um, considering uh, the lockdown situation that we have in Germany and uh, also the reason why we uh, had to switch to a virtual conference also meant that we have to, uh, we had to pre-record um, a lot of the messages that we want to share um, beforehand. So we already did. And I want to show you a quick video, a uh, short video about the behind the scenes. And you can probably see that we had lots of fun um, recording for this conference. So, of course, we hope that all of you will join us uh, in February to watch this virtual conference. Um, in this video, you've seen a lot of corporate speakers. Uh, of course, we, have, we will have presentations from our executives in the US. 
we saw Tyler, Chuck, Jerem, uh, also Gina from marketing, Jörg, of course. And um, of course, we are uh, from the European office. We will, we will be presenting as well. But we also want to make you aware that we have uh, leaders, mostly from Europe, but also from other regions in the world that uh, have pre-recorded breakout sessions. And uh, yeah, you just have to make sure that you don't miss them. And we follow the, uh, the global strategy here by talking about uh, our four, our four identity statements. Uh, so we have uh, Cecil Anderson and Trish Schwenkler talking about we are legacy. Then we have five associates talking about we are opportunity with Zoltan, uh, Christina Williams from Australia, Martin Suki, Morten Anderson, and Chulan Lee. Then uh, Mijo and Gurang P or LSP are talking about we are ethos. And we have Raidun Bohm and Dr. Janina Litvak talking about we are innovation. And uh, these breakout sessions are um, recorded. You can watch them right after the general sessions and these breakout sessions will also be available for a longer period of time. So make sure that you watch them. I know uh, that there are a lot of good ones in there with great tips and great information about uh, our company. And I'm very much looking forward to, to meeting all of you um, at our conference. So thank you so much for tuning in today. And I hope to see you uh, next month again at our February breakfast call. Thank you so much. Have a great day.